there's one specific film for DC that nobody's talking about that's about to, well, it's already been canceled. Let's go ahead and talk wow. about it. Welcome to Jody's Corner. Thank you so very much. Static Shock has been trashed. Sources close to me are telling me that Static Shock movie that was coming out with the inclusivity after we seen from DC Fandom, it's gone. No more Static Shock. I see that I understand that the DC Universe is rebooting and stuff like that, but you got to think, man, like since the death of George Floyd and we've seen all that stuff at DC Fandom, how they had a whole uh, 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 inclusivity like black element that DC was really trying to dive into. It looks like, man, it don't matter what color you are, bro. From this James Gunn slaying, bro, he's clearing everything out. Solo victims like this one. Static Shock, he's out of there. There's not going to be a Static Shock movie for the foreseeable future, if at all. And that's a sad thing to see. We know that Michael Keaton's uh, Batman, he was going to be Batman Beyond. They were going to use Batman Beyond for Michael Keaton, man. That's what... That's what the situation was, but we know that's not happening either. Fuck. But this static shock news right here is, you know, it's it's a little bit disappointing to me because, you know, you would kind of want to see something like that down the line, get a little black black superhero action would be cool. But uh, nah, may, uh, who knows if James Gunn would even come out with his own static shock movie or not. But that's where we are with it, Flash. What do you think about static shock being axed? <clears throat> uh, static shock is actually a great hero. No part of the Snyderverse either. Yeah, new taste. Of it would have been to stand up on his own, mm -hmm. and he could also introduce a lot of new characters, also black characters known too. To that, since they do, a lot of people want to be woke. They they mm. can also add a lot more black characters into his story or into his new movies or or have their own shit now. But now that they're canceling one, I think uh, uh, James Gunn is gonna cancel all of it. Oh my goodness, bro. All right, E, what do you think? E-Man. E-Man. Um, honestly, um, Virgil Thompson, not having Virgil Thompson on, like, on the, like, what was it, HBO Max? Um, being on that, on a platform like that, I feel like that, it, it's, too, it's too early for that anyway. It's, it's, you know, it's such that, that a lot of people are not able to get it, but I feel like when you do Static Shock, you got to do that shit to, right. You know what I mean? You can't just play Static Shock is not the type of character that you he's need to. Character, though. I mean, he, he's, he's a good character and all that, but he's not the type of character that needs to be treated with the same type of level of commitment and, and getting it right like Batman, Superman, or Wonder Woman, though. I mean, or someone but, in the Justice but, League, but static, right? Stock, sh static Shock is the blend of the kids who are out there who, who we see that get bullied and get teased and get all and that. Static Shock connect yeah. with those type of things. The kids <laughs> that are, are neighborhoods that have to worry about gangs and everything like that. He helps you. Yeah. A push away from all of that, you know what I mean? He becomes something even more, even better. You know what I'm saying? So it's like to have static, to have static shock being on a freaking uh, HBO Max or whatever the fuck they may call it. Um, it's called Max. The 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 they're bringing together H HBO Max and Discovery and all those plus shows, trash. and they're bringing it together trash. one streaming service. It's gonna be just called Max. Yeah. Uh, and by the way, guys, they reiterate this static shock being canceled is off the slate. Maybe in later time they'll bring it back. It's possible that they could add that to the layer. But come on, James Gunn's starting fresh here, man, and um, everything's just getting wiped. Right. It seems, bro. Yeah, I mean, so. they, first of all, they need to get the the, the core seven right. And I, and I say it's because you can't get these characters, new characters, all this new, new stuff right, and you don't even got the characters, the main characters right. You know what I'm saying? Let's get them right first, and then we start moving for Static Shock, okay. my boy Green Arrow. You know, all the rest of these <clears> other <throat> characters out there that we could end up having. But you, we don't even have a good Superman. We don't have a good Batman. We don't have none of that. You know, we had a wonderful Wonder Woman. We had a wonderful, well, sort of, not really, uh, freaking Aquaman. You know, Aquaman was dope. That was a great movie, but we didn't really have a full-fledged Aquaman like that. You know what I'm saying? We don't have a Martian Manhunter. We don't have a, a, a real good Flash. Hopefully, we will eventually. It's just that we don't even have the main characters right yet before we start talk, talking about Static Shock and all the rest of them, man. A lot of people were excited for that, though. I was actually uh, one in Static Shock because I knew how Static Shock... Will stand. We grew up the, on that cartoon. Yeah, and how he oh, stands yeah, for the kids, and how inspirational he can be for the kids. He was very inspirational for a lot of urban kids, man. Right. Like, common level, like the, some of the the plots they dealt with in that cartoon were ahead of the his time, bro. Drugs and all that. Shit. Yeah, man. It was serious. Yeah. It was actually serious, and yeah. that that static that static shot cartoon was actually pretty good. Yeah. But do you think a lot of people would have watched that though? I mean, I think 
our, our generation may watch A lot of people it, know. But I don't think but the, enough, young, the right people. The young generation would have understand that because they don't know what the fuck Static Shock is. Sure. The right people would have watched They're it. They're trying though. to reach to the young generation than compared to our generation. Static Shock appeals to the young generation. But my thing is, is that word of mouth. If the show is good, that word of mouth got power. Word of mouth has the most power than any marketing tool. No matter how many hundreds of millions of dollars you put into marketing, nothing beats word of mouth. Hey, yo, did you see that one movie? You should go see it. It's awesome. That's it. That, that, that trumps any commercial that you'll ever see, bro. It trumps it. So uh, there it is, guys. Uh, Batman Beyond kind of is shocking. You know, they were trying to do that. You know, Sucks, Michael Keaton man. doesn't have a future at DC. That contract, all that's just kaput. Um, so I learned something today that I didn't really know when it comes to a lot of these contracts. No matter if you're put on for multi-movie deals, like three deals, four deals, five deals, six deals, they could just ask you. The studio can let yep. you go without any problem and not having to fulfill that at all. Yep. They don't have to pay? No. Maybe they have, maybe in some certain instances they might have to pay something, but they don't have to honor that at all. I didn't know that. Look at the actor who's supposed to play as a freaking um, slave. Bro. So all these actors that got, just got axed, think about, you know, Henry... That's if he true. had a deal, Gal, if she did multiple movies, yeah. think about Jason Momoa, if he did, all that is just to the wind. It protects the studio, not the talent. Shit is tough. Think about that, ladies and gentlemen, as you guys factor that in. I didn't even know that myself, but thank you guys so very much for watching Jody's Corner. Subscribe to the channel for more of that real iconic news and discussions, the real talk. I'm Jody Joe, and I'm out. Deuces. Like, comment, subscribe, you guys. Thumb that video, free 99 all day. Don't forget to share and show love to the JC family. Let us know what you think about it. You like it, you don't like it. Let us know what you think. Give it a buck. Y'all know some bullshit. Give it a buck. Some bullshit. Subscribe.